You just start off by introducing yourself to us and telling us exactly why you're going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records one day. As my record from Guinness is... So we've just arrived at our next workaway in Slovakia. And instead of this being a story about our experience at this new workaway, we thought that we just had to share the experience of our workaway host and his incredible story. We are Sarah and Marek. In October 2020, we left our home country of South Africa and set out to see the world using budget travel strategies to make our travels last as long as possible. From working on a traditional winery in Georgia, to a sailboat in Turkey, to attempting to hitchhike over 1,800 kilometers in four days, our budget travels have by no means been boring or uneventful. We can't wait to see what's next. As my record from Guinness is hitchhiking around the world without money. It's uh, absolutely without money. No money for food, no money for hotel, no money for airplane or boats, absolutely nothing. I travel zero money. Why? My philosophy is, uh, is absolutely easy. Much people in this time is working for money or for materialistic world need a new iPhones, a new car, or I don't know, new techniques. And all the time is, I need money, I need money, I need money, I need money. And life, life is gone. And people, last minute in life, speak, oh no, my life is bad, I'm only life for money. Why? Life is now. No tomorrow, no yesterday, only right now. Five years back, I'm good job. In, uh, I'm cook in kitchen and big money for one month. Yeah, it's payday. Uh, my spirit is no happy. And one day I uh, speak for me is okay. Now it's change my life. I'm sell my home, uh, sell my stuff, complete money for charity, and absolutely little stuff. Only 50 kilograms backpack and start my trip. I'm go to uh, Western Europe. Germany, French, Spanish, uh, Portugal, Netherlands, and complete Europe, only hitchhiking. And I'm, I'm speak for me, yeah, life is, life is beautiful. As much people in Slovakia, as my country speak, oh, world is not good, world is uh, kill you, or steal, uh, steal stuff, yeah. And I'm, I'm changed my mind. I'm open my mind and open my heart and absolutely everything is a big change. Okay, just in case you haven't had a moment to think this all through yet, this is a guy who left his home with nothing because he gave it all away to charity, stuck out his thumb and hitchhiked around the world, not knowing where his next meal was gonna come from, not knowing where he was gonna sleep, just going. I don't even know what to call this, but I know that I would never be able to do something like this personally. I think it takes a very specific type of person to do something like this. And Yaro is just that type of person. Now, just for example, like take toothpaste as an example. What do you do if your toothpaste runs out and you've got no money? <laughs> Seriously. Now we realize that you might still have a few questions. So he's been doing this for four years at the moment. He's got to about 63 countries and he's not actually in the Guinness Book of World Records just yet because unfortunately COVID put a little bit of a stop to his trip, but he will be carrying on and finishing that attempt as soon as he can. Okay, but let's get back to it. Why have you decided to start with this massive project of reconstructing? Fools. This is a hard question. This project starting maybe 60, 70 years, uh, 1960, 1970, first people working here, and maybe stop work uh, 1918, 1980, and uh, after go here, Michael. Michael is boss, is a non-profit organization, and maybe here is uh, 1994, 1995, and working in the castle. Uh, Michael is my cousin and fantastic person. Michael is uh, all life working here. Nothing vocation. All the year, absolutely zero vocation, zero day vocation. 365 days working here. It's no workaholic. No, it's working for dreams. And Michael, Michael dreams is save the history. 
which much people in Slovakia visit this castle and speak me. I'm working in ticket office and speak me, oh, you stupid idiots is working here. It's not possible working maybe 300, 400 years after, maybe. And now it's not possible. I speak, why? It's maybe a little change, it's good change. Did you know that Slovakia has more castles per capita than any other country in the entire world? And this castle right here is the only privately owned castle in the whole of Slovakia. We have learned that the Slovak government is more focused with the preservation of castles rather than the reconstruction of them. Which means that this castle is entirely self-funded by Yado's cousin, Michael. A little history lesson. The castle, as well as the surrounding villages, were all destroyed during World War II and a knock-on effect of that is that there was a major shortage of building materials. Naturally, this made the castle the easiest place for the locals to get these needed materials, which left the castle in an even worse state than after the bombings. But that is, until the reconstruction efforts began. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some extra entertainment. We mentioned in our last video that this workaway involves lots of animals, including goats. Not only did we learn how to milk goats for the very first time, but we also got to try the milk afterwards. But before we could milk them, we had to feed them, and things can get a little bit crazy. No, no a lot of milk, okay. maybe half liter. Mm -hmm. Good session mm -hmm. is no problem, it's eight liters per day. Eight liters? Yeah, yeah. name is Bomba. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looking at this, mm -hmm. here is small balloon. Yeah. yeah. It's, you need this much. Yeah, it's milk, no possible go up. Go okay. up. Yeah. And after, his fingers is this, and much power. Much power. Don't worry, it's no pain. Don't worry, yeah? Look. Whoa. Yeah? Okay. This. There? Mm-hmm. And first is this, yeah? It's much. Ah, I see. And after is other fingers. Good! Whoa! Nice! <laughs> I'm milking a goat! <laughs> What is this? <laughs> wow, oh, he's nibbling. <laughs> he's nibbling. Nibbling my jacket. And uh, attention for uh, small goats. Yeah. This is my situation is eating hair. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> holding the bucket of milk. <laughs> Are you excited to taste some? I'm excited. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. But let's get back to the interview and find out about Yaro's best hitchhiking memory. Who? This is a hard question. All the day in travel is new adventure. All the day travel is one or one or one crazy situation. Paraguay in South America is a beautiful state. There's no much mountains. It's flat. People is very good. Yeah, it's big hard open. And one situation, it's absolutely amazing for my life. I visit uh, city Santa Rosa del Mundo and um, East Paraguay is night. I need a looking place for my tent and I'm go to cent Central Square and I see one little girl and asking, hi girl, please, I need help. I'm a looking place for tent. And this girl speak, why? Because I'm not sleep, I need sleep. Why you sleep in tent? Why not money for a hotel? Why no, why no sleep in home? My home in Slovakia is Europe, 6,000, maybe 6,000 uh, kilometers before. And this girl speak, okay, no problem, go to my home. I'm, okay, go to your home, okay. And complete family is a big hug for me, it's open heart, I'm eating. Mm, and good shower, fantastic shower. And next morning in breakfast, his father for this family speak me, Johnny, uh, how many days you travel? I speak four years. And how many days is your vocation? Is a uh, break for travel? I speak zero. Okay, you need vocation. I'm what? My vocation is travel. No, 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 no. You need vocation from travel. Why? And father speak, uh, me and my family go to Asuncion, is capital city, Paraguay, for two weeks. I'm speak, okay, I'm sorry, I'm no go to Asuncion. This is my different direction. I'm go to all, next direction. No, 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 Johnny, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Um, I'm and my family walk, uh, to Asuncion for two weeks. I need help for you. What? Uh, you stay stay my home for two weeks and uh, secure my home. Yeah, 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 here is key. Bye. And people go out. I want to... Okay, I'm two weeks only. One the big home, only here, only chill. <laughs> and I see these people only, I don't know, 11 hours? Maybe maximum. Maybe, I'm, maybe maximum. And these people give me key for, for home, for a uh, car for everything, for everything. Here is key and I'm I'm for vocation. Ciao. It's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Why, 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 wow. What, this is not amazing, it's, life is easy. Much people speak, oh, life is hard, or much trouble. Why? You is Christian? Okay, uh, I'm speak, uh, God is father, yeah? Father love child. God's uh, working paradise for kids. Life now, life now, only life now, life for this moment. So uh, one day after, maybe tomorrow you is there. Now is life, and this is beautiful. And uh, possible change to camera is here. Look the sunshine. <laughs> this is life. 
Look, fantastic sunshine. Fantastic people here. Goats, silence, nature, castle. This is life. This is absolutely fantastic life. Moving city or life for work or construction or big company. Yeah, it's working eight hours and finish. Uh, uh, you waiting in work uh, eight, uh, eight hours, finish and go home to family, eating dinner and go to sleep and tomorrow to same. What? This is no life. This is no life. This is life. You give me hugs, it's for me is absolutely best. Uh, you give me 10,000 American dollars, go, 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 go. Give me one hugs. This is for me is absolutely best. Yeah, I don't. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but after listening to all of that, I'm feeling so inspired to live more in the moment and just appreciate every day of life. So what are we finding is that traveling through Workaway, we're just having this chance to meet so many incredible people. And we'd really like to start telling more of their stories, just like this one. But tomorrow we are finally heading to Hungary. And it is guaranteed <laughs> this time because we have actually bought our train tickets and our accommodation is booked. So you can be sure that next week's video is definitely coming from Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Um, much uh, state in the United States uh, prohibit uh, hitchhiking. Mm. It's me is no prohibit. Yeah, I'm uh, much situation police oh, go to jail. I'm speak. I'm happy. Free shower, free bed, <laughs> free food. I'm happy man. I've, I've got one more question. Actually. Yes, I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>